Okay, we are on the last section of Salesforce Connect, Integrate External Data. So this particular trail explains about how you can connect um, external objects records and display it on the page layout on the particular um, like account um, record or the a user record on this particular instance is the account record so you can see the orders for an account which is pulling from an external object so it doesn't live in salesforce it lives on another platform It's being pulled and then it's being displayed like here and you can link it to the account and, and link it like that and see it's linked on the account object and you can see under the account record all the orders link to that account so because um, on the trailhead playground we can only have one external data source and I have already deleted this particular example because when doing our challenge we want to use the mobile device external data source here right so we are just going to do the challenge together it's pretty much the same thing but just pulling different data and pulling different objects so let's go ahead and do the challenge together um, we have done this on the previous video right connecting the mobile devices with odata 2.0 and we copy and paste this link here and it connects in sync properly now let's do the second step Add a new phone UUID custom field on the user standard object. Okay, I'm going to copy that. And it has to be a type of text, unique, and external ID. Let's go to our setup here. So this is our setup on our Trailhead Playground. We are going to the user object, fields, and relationships here. Make a new one. It has to be a text type text here so next phone UUID uh, make it 64 it has to be unique and external okay that's good visible for everybody next and add to the page layout and save let's do the next step change the UUID field on the phone X external object to be the indirect lookup relationship indirect lookup relationship to the user standard object and then use the phone UUID as the matching key okay let's go back here and go home we go external objects phone click on the phone and then we have UUID over here we want to edit the change uh, the field type change the field type to an indirect lookup relationship so we want to link this to our user object right link it to the only field that is available because this is an external id that's why it's the only one listed and next what else can we do make it all visible and save and we're done so we have that now um, what is the next step here? Update any existing user record in your developer edition and have this particular um, UUID for that user. So we are going to change our own user. So go to users here and users and I'm going to edit my own user and add that phone UUID. Mm -hmm. here we go boom and save so I want to see how it looks like but before I, I do that I want to add it to my page layout so if I go page oopsie not page layout go to user object first and then go to page layout actually user profile page layout and edit this guy I want to add the phone related list there the phones you can see the phones now I'm gonna add that this is not part of the challenge so even if you don't do this you're done with your challenge but I want to see it 
So you can actually see it. So let's add some columns too. Add the phone number and the brand there. Um, let's save that and save here. And yes. Now if I go back here and I search for my um, UUID, there. It's linked to my user account, right? It's pulling up the search result here. And there you have it. You see the related phones on my user account. So if you click view all here, you can see all the data is pre pretty much linked to this user account because this is a test, a test one, right? So you can see my phones here. I have a bunch of phones. You can see that. And that's it. We have done our part. And now we can check the challenge and get our points. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! We've got a shiny new badge on our profile. Congratulations! So basically, we've done what we see or um, explain here. You can also test it on your mobile app, your Salesforce mobile app. Also, you can add feed tracking, you can add reporting to those external records as well. So feel free to play around and do what is described here. But because our external data source is limited to only one in playground, we can not do both this and the challenge. We have to delete one of those. So we won't do both because we can't. I'll see you on the next section. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom